Welcome to another video from Inzara.com. In this video, we will see a demo of the new combination generator Excel template designed for a single list where no repetitions are allowed and the order does not matter. This template is part of the combination generator toolkit bundle that you can get from Inzara.com. Now let's get started. This is a very, very simple Excel template where we will be entering a list of values here in the step one here. Totally, there can be up to 20 items in this list. And please make sure that you don't put any blanks in between two values. For example, I have four entries here or four items in the list. Step number two is I can choose how many items are in each combination. So let's say I have selected two. So that means I need to pick combinations of two values at a time from a list of four values. So you can see here that the list size is automatically shown as four because we have entered four and then the number of combinations is calculated to be six. And that's the final output of combinations that we expect to see. Now, before we look at the output, let's look at the one more option that we have to choose the delimiter between the values. So here I have entered basically space, hyphen, space. And if I want instead of hyphen, I want plus, I can do that. And now you will see that the output also uses the delimiter plus. The next step here is to refresh the calculation. So if we make any changes, so let's say for example, I have entered two and I decide to make it oh, I want three items in each combination. Now the template will say, press, re press refresh all in the data ribbon. This is a very important step. So I go here to the data ribbon and I hit refresh all. And now you can see that it got immediately updated. If the number of combinations is very large, it may take some time to update. But since we are only dealing with total four combinations, uh, it came back pretty quickly. So now we see the output here. Audi plus BMW plus Cadillac. And so we have these four combinations are possible where repetitions are not allowed, meaning we can't have Audi more than once in the output. Um, so here you see that Audi, BMW, Cadillac. So these are all unique values, combinations. Also, or the order does not matter, meaning Audi, BMW, Cadillac, you don't see BMW Audi Cadillac as another value list here because it's the same selection of items. Only the order of selection is different. This template, in this template, the order does not matter, meaning it's a combination, not a permutation. I'll provide a link to more information about combinations and permutations uh, that'll help clarify those questions if you have any. But the purpose of this template is you enter a list of values and then you choose how many items in each combination, which is R, and then you can change the delimiter between the values if you would like, or if you don't want any delimiter, just don't put anything. Um, I pressed here and I pressed the delete key. So now you can see that there's no delimiter, but if I want any, I can put something like this, and then you'll see that the combinations change. Refresh the calculations, you get the output. Very, very straightforward. In terms of the limits, the maximum R that is supported is seven, maximum N, which is the number of items in this list that supported is 20. If you have requirements which are beyond this, these limits, and if you would like any customized solution from us, please contact us and we will be happy to take uh, on a customization project for you. Now, let me show an example where I can add more items. So for example, let's say I have um, around 16 or 17 items. Let's go with 17. I'm going to copy from another sheet off screen here. I'm going to come in here and paste. So you can definitely paste values from another sheet. Always use paste values, this option. Don't do control V, just make sure that you do right click and then choose this option of pasting values. You see now that I have 17 different values and let's say my R is four. Now you will see that there is 2,380 combinations and I see an error message or a, a warning message saying, 
hey, you have more than 2,000 combinations, so you may want to now extend this table because if I go to the bottom of the table, which you can go by clicking on this link, it'll take you to the bottom of the table and you see that it stops at 2,000. That's the default number of um, combinations that are displayed. But if you want to extend beyond 2,000, you can do it, but you would need to follow a couple of simple steps. Go to review, unprotect the sheet, hit, put the password as Inzara, and now you see that this little option available for you to extend. So you can extend it as much as you want based on how many combinations you need to see. Now let me go back to the top and now we can hit refresh to see that, uh, to pull the new list of uh, combinations at 2380. Remember that anytime when you change an input, you have to go and hit refresh all. Before I do that, I'm going to show you another option where you can monitor the progress of the query because the more um, the, the value of N and RR, Excel is going to take its time to process because it needs to process through million plus or multi millions of combinations before it arrives at this. After it removes the duplicates and repeats, it has to uh, do all that calculation so it may take some time. The best way for you to uh, keep track of the progress is to go to data queries and connections and you see these values here now when i hit refresh now excel is going to go ahead and process and it needs to reach 2380 combina 80 combinations as output and you can see that it is loading because it's already loaded 600 700 800 so it's going to go um, depending on what n and r you chose um, this is going to go a little bit faster or slower, but for the combination that I've chosen here, 17 is N, R is 4, it is still processing, uh, and it's reached close to 1400, 1500 now. It needs to get to 2380. Until you reach, um, we recommend that wait and let Excel finish its processing, and then you will see the output get displayed automatically. Um, if you need to cancel at any point, you can also do that by clicking here at the bottom left corner to cancel and then stop the refresh. Um, you will also see here that the running background query message at the bottom is always visible whenever Excel is processing. And if it is a very small number of combinations, it happens so quickly that we don't even see you know, the, the fact that it's running the query behind. But in this case, we have chosen N as 17 and R as 4, and that's why it is taking longer to process. And now um, let's see, we are almost there, 2310, and we just have to get to 2380. And while we are waiting for this, let me just go here, click on this, we go to the bottom, and as I said, we can expand this to, let's see how much more I can expand because we need to get to 2,380. So I'm gonna go ahead and maybe go all the way until 2,420, let's say. So we've gone a little bit more than what we need, but we are ready. As soon as it finishes loading, uh, we're just five rows away. So let's see. And then we should see the values get displayed here. So that's pretty much you know what this template is built for. Very, very specific. Um, you choose the N and R, and then it displays all the combinations for you where you can customize, if you like, the delimiter value. And then also you can now copy the values and paste it anywhere else. Uh, you can just select the values, copy, and then you can you know, go to another spreadsheet and maybe say right click and paste as values again so that you can take the output and use it for whatever the purpose you needed the combinations for. So that's how um, eff effectively this template can be used. So now you see that it's, it's finished loading and now we have generated 2,380 combinations of four items at a time from a list of 17 items. So Audi, BMW, so you can see all these values and you can now copy, if you wanna copy the whole thing, just control shift down arrow, it goes all the way down and then control C for copy and then you can go to another file and then paste as values 
and use it for your purpose. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about the functionality of this template, please let me know. Uh, as I mentioned, if your needs are slightly different in terms of N and R uh, or other features, please let us know and we will be happy to take that as a customization project. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.